Okay. I am in Canova. Canova. C A N O V A, I think. Canova, South Dakota. Is there anything that looks a little strange to you? Just check it out. Give yourself a minute to just focus. Over there's the campground. Over there are fancy baseball fields. They don't even have a school here, I don't think. They don't have nothing here. There's probably 20 houses or less, probably less than 20 houses here. There's nobody here, and they got this real fancy baseball field. They got two of them. Oh, man, are they fancy, fancy, fancy. It's like, well, who uses them, you know? There's nobody here. There's nobody in this town. You're looking at the whole town. That's it. They have a main street with, uh, I think they said three businesses that are open, a bank, a bar, and an elevator. And that's it. Look at all this. Isn't that crazy? It's super crazy. Really nice field. Somebody keeps the grass up. The restroom's locked and everything. Yeah. Oh, but I was wanting you to check out this thing. Look at that. See if you've noticed anything strange about this thing right here. This uh, roof. Does that look a little strange to you? I don't know. It just reminds me of something that is fixing to fall down. Fall in. I don't know. Hope it don't fall in on me, but oh, well, I'm telling you, that's got to be the crookedest thing I've ever seen. Look at that. I don't know if you can tell it in this video, but yeah. It's pretty doggone crooked. I wouldn't say it's leaning. It ain't like... I think they built it crooked. Built it so it would be crooked or something. Because it's not really ripping itself out, leaning like that. It's all pretty tight together. It ain't like it's coming loose and leaning. I think they just built it crooked. Maybe the ground's crooked. Maybe the posts are straight and the ground's cooking. No. I don't know. I just don't know. It looks crooked to me, though. But it might not be. See, the ground could be crooked. I just don't know. Something ain't right about it. Looks like it's leaning, fixing to fall in. Why on earth they'd build something like that, I just do not know. It's beyond imagination. But yeah, here's their nice little park for all three people that live here. Four people. Oh, there's somebody over there getting out of the car. It's crazy. Supposed to be storms coming. It's like 5, 5.30 now. Supposed to be storms here at 7.15 on the dot. This is Canoba, South Dakota. And we're going to hold out from 9 to 10. It's supposed to be its biggest chances of raining. So hopefully, after 10, we should be able to make it to... Uh, 20 miles, 17 miles, 20 miles to uh, Salem, Salem, South Dakota. I don't know. I hope they let me stay there in Salem, South Dakota, because if not, we got another 17 miles to go to Humboldt, H-U-M-B-O-L-D-T, Humboldt, South Dakota. And, uh, yeah, 
Humboldt, South Dakota has free camping. So it's like 17 miles to Salem, and then another 17 miles to Humboldt if we have to go there. I just don't know what to think. I guess I could stay here, but I wouldn't trust it, you know. Be nice if somebody come down and talk to me, or somebody come down here. I could ask him. I might ask somebody, but there ain't nobody in town to ask. I don't know. I don't know. I could probably stay here though, but I don't know. I think I'm gonna hold out until the rain gets over with, and then head on. And then about noon tomorrow, it's supposed to be really, 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 really bad. So if I stay in Salem, I hope that I can wake up pretty early, take off out of there, and get to Humboldt, 17 miles, before noon. That'll be pretty good. I don't know. I just don't know. And the Humboldt's not the way I need to go. I need to take the 81 south and take it all the way into Yankton, but... I don't know. There ain't no towns for a heck of a long ways on the 81 after Salem. So I don't know. Yeah, I could. But see, if I leave Salem, if I stay in Salem and leave Salem in the morning, I've got to travel, I don't know, 30 miles before I get to a town that's probably got me a place where I can stay, you know, or get under some kind of shelter or something, I don't know, 20 or 30 miles, probably 30 miles, 34 miles or something like that, 36 miles, 26 miles, I don't know, Fridora, Frida, Frida, something, some town south of Salem, and uh, so I don't think I could make it before it rained, I don't know. Supposed to be just bad rain tomorrow. Bad, 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 bad rain. But after the rain, oh man, it's supposed to be cool, nice and cool. I'm telling you, today was bad. It is miserable. High humidity, extremely high humidity. The high of the day is 93. And high, high humidity. See it. It, that humidity is what what does me in. I I can I've, I can handle the heat. The heat ain't no problem. I can ride in it and it ain't no big deal. It's that humidity. That humidity just kills me. It just ah you can't hardly breathe in it. It's just horrible, horrible, horrible. So I went in a bar. It's called Animals. Animal or Animals. And, uh, yeah, the, the password to their Wi-Fi is animal, all lowercase, one. In case you want to know, you're going there. And they're not open. They they don't have any uh, set time, I guess, to open or close. They just stay open as, until the customers leave, and then they open when the customers want to come there. The heck, there's only like five or six people here, so... I don't know. I seen most of the town people come in there. Want they, uh, they wanted to eat, get something to eat or something to drink. And I don't know. They, I don't know. I don't think they like me going in there and sitting in there for two or three hours. But and it it was cool to start out with, but they ain't got to where it wasn't cool no more. I don't know. They got a swamp cooler. I don't think they got a real air conditioner. It's just a, a, yeah, a bank, a bar, and an elevator over there. And that's it, they claim. They got a community hall, and it says library on it, but there ain't no library. They said the library closed a long time ago. There ain't no community hall either, so. I don't know. Here comes some one of the five people that live in this town. He's on a bicycle. Crazy, man, crazy. So, yeah, there's another baseball field over there. It's just, yeah, it's 
all these baseball fields and nice park and everything, and there's nobody here. I just don't understand. What in the world is this doll doing here? See, that's what I'm telling you. Maybe there, maybe there's some kind of plague just came through and wiped out everybody. I don't know. Well, that guy on a bicycle turn around. I bet he heads this way. Come on. You know you want to come down that road into this park. He wants to. He's just farting around. There he is. So, yeah, and you wouldn't think there's a storm coming. Look at that, clear skies. And it's coming from over there. Supposed to be here in an hour and a half, somewhere like that. And there ain't no clouds, hardly. There's a few. But, yeah, there ain't no clouds. There's another baseball field out there. They just got them everywhere, I'm telling you. They didn't have no people, so they just made baseball fields instead. Field of dreams or something. Yeah, can you believe there's a storm coming from that direction? Doesn't look like it. I don't know. But here we are in Canova, South Dakota. It's like the 18th, I think. 17th or the 18th. I think it's Thursday. August. And I'll talk to you later.